All right, now that we have our model bound to the plane and we know that all the channels are moving in the right direction, it's time to set up our dual rates and exponential. Now on a plane like this, it's absolutely necessary to do this. They even recommend it right on the box saying that if you don't have a radio that can do dual rates and exponential, it's not even recommended to fly it without that. I've flown this plane personally and I can tell you that you're going to want dual rates and exponential, otherwise the plane is almost unflyable. It's just such a small, powerful plane, so fast that it's too twitchy without this. Now let me quick explain what these are. Dual rates is a setting on the transmitter that allows you to select two different options in terms of how much control you have, a low and a high rate. On the low rate, it's less responsive. On the high rate, it's more responsive. You set those rates on the radio yourself. Now exponential is a softening of the sticks. The more exponential we give, the more stick movement it takes to get full deflection. And what I mean by that, if I zoom out just a bit, when I'm moving the stick with exponential, this amount of movement does very little where the outside of the stick does most of it. So all the little movements you usually do just to aim the, the aircraft where you want to go aren't going to make it freak out. It's not going to be rolling if you give it just a little stick movement. Without exponential, even this little bit of movement would roll the plane. With exponential, this little bit of movement makes it real soft and agile. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to quick put up a screenshot. This is the manual that comes with the SBOC. And you can see here they have a table that explains dual rates and exponential. And they give you their recommended, recommended high rates and low rates. So you see on the top box, we have dual rates. High rate is all 100%. And low rates for airline, 70%. Elevator, 60%. Rudder, 70%. On the, on the bottom box is Exponential, or Expo for short. You can see Airline for high rate is only 30%. The low rate is 20%. Elevator high rate is 15%. Low rate is 5. Rudder high rate is 20%. And low rate is 10. Now we're going to mimic these settings on the radio. Because they gave it to us, this is a great starting point for, the, for our settings. So let's go back to our radio. We're going to click on the main screen to enter our setup list, scroll down, and you'll see right here, dual rates and expo, exactly what we want. Select that, and now we're on it. Now, before you continue any farther, you want to make sure that the switches are in the right spot for what you're trying to adjust. If you see here, airline, elevator, and rudder all have a one by them, and the corresponding switch on the radio, here is our elevator dual rate switch, airline dual rate switch, and rudders on the side, have a 1 and a 0 for position. Now it's really up to you which one you want to do which. I prefer to have the physical high position on the switch being my high rate. In terms of 1 and 0, 0 is the high rate for me. Now again, you can go either way. So you can see now that I flip them, we have 0 on here. I can flip the elevator dual rate and you see it switch. So very important you know which one you're adjusting before you start going into here. So I got all my zeros. I got my dual rates at 1,000, or I'm sorry, 100% down the board. This is what I want. This is our dual rate setting here. This is our exponential setting here. Go back to our, man to our manual and it shows we want 100% for all high rates. So that's perfect. Low rates, 70%, 60%, and 70%. So let's do that. I'm going to flip all three switches back to one. You can see I'm at one here, or this is the low position on my switches. And now I can scroll down, click I'm on airline, looking at the manual again, I want 70% for the low rate. So I just scroll down until I'm at 70. And click to select. Down to elevator, it's going to be 60%. Scroll down until you're at 60. And select it. Down to rudder, click. This is also 70%. Once I got 70 selected, click it again to select. And now we're set there. Now as long as I'm on low rates, I'm going to do my exponential. INH stands for inhibited. There is no exponential right now. I'm going to click it to select. And on airlines, for my low exponential rate, I want 20%. So scroll up to 20 and select. Elevator is 5% on the low rate. Select. And rudder is going to be 10% on the low rates. And click it to select. All right, now I have my dual rates and exponential on the low settings all set. This matches the manual. If you look back to the manual page, 
If you look out on the low rate column, we have 70, 60, 70, and 25, 10. So perfect. Now I can flip all my switches back. You can see here again, I'm at my zero position. I'm back to 100%. And now I can set my high rate exponential. Looking at the graph, I see Airline is 30%. So I'm going to go to Airline, click to select, up to 30. I went one pass, click it again, select. Elevator is going to be 15%. Click to select. And rudder is 20%. Click to select, all the way back up to list, click to go back to the menu, back up to main, click to select, and there you have it. Now we have all our do rates and exponential preset into the radio for the model. We know our servos are all operating in the correct direction, and we're ready for flight. Now there's one last thing you're going to do, and that's while you're flying, you're going to trim the airplane. You can see here, right on the screen, they show you your trims. These bars, these four bars are your trims. And if the airline, let's say the model is banking to the left, we might want to give it a little bit of right trim. And you can see the bar move over as I click the switch to the right for the airline channel. Now this is something you can't do while you're on the ground because you don't know if the model needs it until you get it in the air. Little things like how it's set up, weight, wind, any little thing might require a trim. So that's something you're always going to be adjusting, which is why it's on the main screen and not in the setting screen. So keep that in mind when you're doing your first flight. Make sure you've got a low calm day. Take off from the ground. If the airplane tends to want to bank, pitch, anything at all, you want to correct that with trims. And there you have it, guys. That's it for the setup on the SBOC. This same setup procedure is going to hold true for most of the microplanes and a lot of planes in general. Again, I'm using the DX6i radio from Spectrum. Your radio might have slightly different menu options to get to the same features, but it's going to be relatively the same procedure. Now, if you guys have any questions about setting up your particular plane, just comment below. We can get all your questions answered there. We appreciate you watching these videos and we appreciate your feedback. Thanks guys and have a great day.